Structural functionalism. Have you ever wondered how societies function and maintain stability? What are the underlying structures and systems that contribute to social order and cohesion? Structural functionalism provides a comprehensive framework for understanding society by examining the interplay between social structures, functions, and the maintenance of social equilibrium. Let's explore the key principles of structural functionalism, discuss its applications in various contexts, and provide compelling examples that illustrate its practical implications. At its core, structural functionalism view society as a complex system comprised of interconnected parts that work together to maintain social order and stability. It emphasizes the interdependence between social institutions, social roles, and social norms in promoting social cohesion and collective well-being. The theory posits that each element of society has a specific function or purpose that contributes to the overall functioning of the system. One fundamental principle of structural functionalism is the concept of social structure. Social structures refer to the patterns of relationships, institutions, and organizations that shape and regulate social behavior. Examples of social structures include family, education systems, government, religious institutions, and the economy. These structures provide the framework within which individuals interact and fulfill their roles and responsibilities. Another key component of structural functionalism is the notion of social functions. Social functions refer to the intended or unintended consequences of social structures or institutions. Each social structure has specific functions that contribute to the overall functioning and stability of society. For example, the family institution functions to provide emotional support, socialization of children, and the continuation of cultural values across generations. Structural functionalism also emphasizes the idea of social equilibrium or stability. It suggests that societies have a tendency to maintain a state of balance and harmony where the various social structures and functions are aligned and working cohesively. When there is a disruption in one part of the system, other parts will adjust and compensate to restore equilibrium. For instance, in times of economic downturn, structural functionalists would argue that the education system might adapt by providing training programs and reskilling opportunities to mitigate the impact on employment. This adaptive response helps maintain social stability by addressing the needs of individuals and the overall functioning of society. Structural functionalism has been applied in various contexts, including sociology, anthropology, and organizational studies. In sociology, the theory helps analyze how social institutions and structures can contribute to the functioning and stability of society. It examines the roles and functions of institutions such as the family, education, religion, and government in maintaining social order and promoting social integration. In anthropology, structural functionalism offers insights into the study of cultures and how various cultural elements serve specific functions within a society. It explores how cultural practices, rituals, and beliefs contribute to the well-being and coherence of a particular group. Furthermore, structural functionalism has implications in organizational studies, particularly in understanding how organizations function and adapt to external and internal changes. It examines the roles and functions of different departments, hierarchies, and divisions within an organization and how they contribute to the overall efficiency and stability of the organization. Critics of structural functionalism argue that it tends to overlook power dynamics, conflicts, and social inequalities within societies. They contend that the theory focuses on maintaining the status quo rather than challenging social injustices or addressing issues of power and oppression. Additionally, critics highlight the limitations of a purely functionalist perspective in explaining social change and the diversity of social experiences. In conclusion, structural functionalism provides a framework for understanding society as a complex system with interconnected parts. By examining social structures, functions, and the maintenance of social equilibrium, the theory offers valuable insights into how societies maintain stability and social order. While it has received criticism for its limited focus on power dynamics and social inequalities, structural functionalism remains a significant tool for understanding the interplay between social structures and the overall functioning of societies.